In part three of the series, we'll find out the pressure exerted on a dam that has a trapezoid shape. Like before, we will use this formula to construct our equation and then integrate. We know what rho is, this Greek letter, it's 1000, that's the density of water. G is the gravity, dy will represent y, which is the mini heights of those rectangles that we will use to take the area of the shape. And wy, that's the hard part, that's the function that represents the width of those rectangles. Of course, if we take mini rectangles all along this shape, the widths are going to change. For example, the width here is different than the width of a rectangle taken here. That being said, let's get started. Let's start by inputting the values that we know. Force is equal to the integral between A and B. That's the range, so from 0 to 6 along the y-axis. Rho is 1000. G is 9.8 dy is simply y because we're using rectangles and this part well we're gonna find that next here's how to find that what I will do is redraw this trapezoid over here and then interpret it then okay what you see on your screen is a trapezoid this side is 9 this side is 14 and the height of this trapezoid is 6 keep that in mind if I were to draw a rectangle along the x axis, the rectangle would have an unknown width of w. And this width will change depending on where you are along the y axis. We have to come up with an equation that relates y and w. So what I will do is segment this trapezoid into two right triangles and this part right here is a rectangle. I know that my width, regardless of where I am, will always have a length of 9 plus whatever these are equal to. That's the hard part. To find out an expression that represents the remaining parts of each of these widths, what we have to do is use similar triangles. Notice that we have a right triangle here. And I know the width of this orange triangle. How do I find it? Well, I'll take 14 minus 9, that gives me 5, and I'll divide it by 2 since we have two sides. So this is 5 over 2, and this is also 5 over 2. I know the height of this triangle, it's 6, because that was given in the question. So what I will do to compare this right triangle with this smaller one is use ratios. The bigger of the two, is 6 over 5 over 2 height compared to the side here and this part I'm gonna call Y because I don't know what that is for the smaller triangle and I'm gonna call its width W1 because W is already taken and I'll solve for W1 I can do that by multiplying both sides by W1 that will cross that out leaving me with 6 over 5 over 2 is equal to y. Next, I divide both sides by 6 over 5 over 2. Let's clean this up first. 6 divided by 5 over 2 gives us 6 times 2 over 5, which is 12 over 5. And then I'll reciprocate that because I'm dividing it by y. It gives me 5y over 12. So now that we found this very important equation, we multiply it by 2 because this only represents that bit, but there's another side to it. So we multiply it by 2, 5y over 12, 2 cancels out, this becomes a 6, and our equation for the width is 9 plus 5 over 6y. I'm going to take this equation now and substitute it into here. I'll multiply this at the same time, it's 9800, the integral between 0 and 6, y and we had 9 plus 5y over 6 with respect to y, so we have dy. What you would do next is expand the expression. And instead of doing this manually, I'm going to use my calculator because we all know by now how to integrate simple functions like 9y and 
functions like y to the power of 2. So I'm going to use the function that will enable me to do this. We'll start with 9y. It's an x because it's in terms of x here, but just make a mental note that we are in terms of y. It won't change anything. Plus 5 x to the power of 2 over 6. And I know about this. I haven't forgotten. I'll find out what this is first. I'll put my bounds as 6 and 0. I get 222 times 9,800. That gives me 2,175,600. So 2 decimal 17 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 10 to the power of 6 newtons. That is the amount of force exerted on this trapezoid shaped dam. So there you have it. That is how to express fluid pressure force as an integral. Make sure to watch part four for yet another example.